It's Care Providers of Minnesota's The Inside Scoop with your advocacy team, Toby Pearson, Nicole Matson, Todd Bergstrom, and Patty Cullen. This week's host, Toby Pearson. Welcome to today's Inside Scoop. Today is Friday. February 21st. So a quick rundown on what happened this week at the Capitol. First, logistically, both the Senate and the House agreed that they need to push back their deadlines because they weren't going to get all the stuff accomplished that they wanted to in the deadlines that were originally set. So they moved them. March 20th, first deadline. March 27th, second deadline. April 3rd is the last deadline. Logistically, those are things where bills have to pass either bodies or both bodies and get to whatever, you know, it's a process thing. Uh, nothing is ever officially dead, really, but they do this process anyway to kind of weed it out. Hearings. House had overview hearings of health care cost drivers. Here is the spoiler alert. Long-term care is not the biggest cost driver in health care. We knew that. MDH did a report that demonstrated that. Senate and House Aging both had eight overviews from DHS and MDH on how the work on the assisted living licensure is going. If you have been reading along in action, you know that we continue to work on it. We are expecting uh, some a bill to be drafted this year that will be purely technical. And we are also expecting that the uh, department will release their draft rules soonish. By soonish, we really mean probably March, April. Don't expect it next week. Uh, the Senate and the House hearing also had what is DHS doing to improve hearings? Where they brought in the commissioner who walked through all the changes that they're doing at DHS, in case you don't remember from this summer. There was a big hullabaloo, and anytime you can use the word hullabaloo, you're doing well, about overpayments, mispayments, stuff going on at DHS, chaos, dogs and cats living together. So they brought her in and she gave a big report, uh, and it turns out that they are making some headway, not fast enough for some, but changes are afoot. Also, the Senate and the House had a big discussion about insulin prices. They have two very divergent ways to address insulin prices and what they're going to do about it, but it is a hot topic for this year as it has been all summer and fall. Next week, we are eagerly anticipating the February forecast. This, to remind you, is the number where it says, do we have a surplus or a deficit? How much money does the legislature have exactly? If you recall from December, there was a small 1.3 billion is actually small in relationship to the overall budget surplus, but it was mostly one-time money. So we anticipate the February forecast, which is one they actually have to balance to, to come out February 27th. Next week, we also think the House is going to start hearing some bills, maybe even one of our bills, potentially. We will let you know as soon as we know via update in email. Lastly, reminder, day at the Capitol, March 18th. If you haven't signed up, please sign up. We'd love to have you participate. We are looking forward to having our folks go tell our story at the Capitol. And that is the Inside Scoop. Thanks for watching.